All right, guys. So uh, we got a Toyota Avalon over here. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to change the power steering line. First of all, the power steering line, high pressure line. If it leaks, it will burst one day. So down here, you're gonna have a bracket over here with a 10 millimeter. You're gonna have a 12 millimeter all the way up there on the engine block right above the power steering pump. You're gonna have a bracket over here, which is probably not gonna open up. So I just pried it open. And then uh, from the top, you're gonna have to remove the lowest pressure line and then get to the high line. That's on the top. Uh, move the air duct, uh, I'm sorry, the air filter housing. So let's come across over here. So you're gonna need a 17 millimeter. 17 millimeter uh, attaches to this right here. So this is how you're gonna pop the line loose. And uh, this whole line comes out this way, okay? The whole line comes out this way. Very simple and easy. I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, so you're gonna have to remove this over here. I did do a uh, rack and pinion so you guys can watch that that video so i got the line sitting over here in the trash okay so let me just show you exactly this line here so 17 mil over here got a washer over here um you got a bracket right here if you follow this line right here you're gonna have another mounting bracket with a 12 millimeter bolt right here you can fish it with a long uh, extension and so it's a bracket here uh bracket over here on the neck of it right here and this is what goes into the racket pin and I had to cut that off So if you're replacing the line just cut it and put a 17 millimeter on that and remove that and that's it simple and easy Probably take you 45 minutes to replace the line after that put power steering fluid check for leaks on both sides of the line Once they're nice and tight and you'll probably hear bubbling or uh, uh, Let the car run and idle make sure you check on the fluid. It's up to level Don't let it run dry fill up as you start the car fill it up first start the car It's gonna suck it in keep filling it level it up. You're gonna see bubbles don't shut it off. If you can shut it off, everything's going to come out. If you shut off, all the fluid is going to come out. So go easy on it. And then after that, just let it idle. It's going to bleed itself. Okay, stop bleeding system. Thank you for watching my video.